Welcome to a Peter Draws video. Also, take a quick look at this diagram I made. We've got another video sponsored by Squarespace, and there's a strange scene here behind me. All of the leaves just fell off my tree onto the ground. They're scattered everywhere. It's incredible. Also, I want to do a quick review on uh, the old CNN coat. Um, some people may consider purchasing something like this in order to, uh, for purposes of sneaking into places, blending in. Uh, basically, it's good to, you know, maybe imitate uh, a reporter of sorts, and it's good for that, I think. Uh, maybe you just need a lanyard with a little, you know, you could mock up an ID, grab a DSLR or something, put on some slacks and some shoes, act the part, be confident. But uh, I will say the, the, the quality is a little rough. I think this, if people saw a rip in your armpit, it might not work as well. So I have to give it just maybe four stars for that. But otherwise, it's a nice jacket. I think maybe more I'm going for the lighthouse keeper look right now with the beard. I'm not sure what that would help me get into except for abandoned lighthouses, but that's pretty cool too. Maybe unabandoned ones. If I just say, hey, I am the keeper of this lighthouse. Let me go polish the bulb or de-ice the outside windows or whatever lighthouse keepers do besides sit lonely by a candle on cold nights as the waves crash outside on the rocks. Another thing lighthouse keepers could do is sit and draw in their sketchbook. So in preparation for that potential lifestyle I'm gonna go do that now, and if you want to, you can watch. Before we hop into the sketchbook, let me mention Squarespace to you. They have right at your fingertips some incredible tools for creating, uh, designing, and hosting your own website. I found it very easy to do this, just dragging and dropping all these different elements once you choose one of the very many templates, all of which look amazing, and they're categorized by what you might want to be doing, like uh, maybe you have a photography thing going on, you need a portfolio, maybe you want to do some uh, e-commerce, selling some stuff that you've been making, or maybe you just have some cool hobby you want to share with other people, go set yourself up a, a website at squarespace.com you can get a free trial going and then when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash peter draws for 10 percent off your first website or domain all right go check it out and get your website set up now i don't really know why i'm attracted to lighthouses i'm i mean there is some element of that level of hermitude right that attracts me, but I think I would go crazy because I have lived in remote areas before and a lot of the time it's nice. You can go outside, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you know, you don't have to wear clothes. You can stand on the porch and s scream or, or shoot at stuff and you don't have to worry about anything really. But of course there are downsides like if there is something to worry about, like what if I'm high up in the lighthouse and I fall down all 277 stairs around the spiral staircase that goes up the inside of the, the lighthouse, then, no matter how much I scream, nobody's ever coming. I'm going to need one of those little uh, alert things, a button you can press so people come. Uh, I don't know. It, it gets a little scary, and I remember when I used to live at that youth camp, I don't know how many of you remember, I used to make videos there. Um, sometimes I would hear scary noises at night, I think the same kind of scary noises I probably hear now, but just knowing that there's other people around that could be making noises, like it could just be a car driving by or something, right? Uh, but when you're up in there in the middle of nowhere, I was I was living on a mountain, and I was, you know, when you hear a weird noise, you're like, what is that? There shouldn't be anyone here. Maybe it, someone is here. Maybe it's a weird animal. 
and I would get up in the middle of the night. It was probably usually just like a screen door slamming in the wind or something. Uh, but, uh, I had to take a lap around the outside of the building sometimes just to calm my nerves, just to make sure there was nothing there, nothing weird going on. Um, even though I don't think I really believed there was, but also who would, who would do anything weird to a lighthouse? There are so, it's like, is that ever the, the target of any nefarious actions? Maybe. At least in North Carolina, a lot of the lighthouses are, um, tourist sites out there on the outer banks they're called because there's like these this little strip of islands that's like separated from the coast and that's where a lot of the lighthouses in North Carolina are um, and I've visited a couple of them they're pretty cool a lot of them are also kind of um, run down and depressing also there's some kind of lighthouse society that owns a lot of the lighthouses I've noticed because sometimes I go on these government auction websites and it's usually just a bunch of random stuff like uh, things that have been, the things, the stuff that's for sale is usually things that have been confiscated by the police and they're usually all grouped together like 247 Swiss pocket knives or 117 Leatherman or a bunch of uh, brass knuckles or something or really old uh, refrigerators or weird commercial uh, like kitchen things that I have no idea or use for. One time I did buy a panel van from a local community college when I lived near uh, w Wilmington. I think it was Cape, Cape Fear Community College or something. Uh, and I bought it for, I think I bought it for like $2,000 and it lasted me a good long time and then later I sold it for $2,000 again. So I, kinda, I think I kind of broke even on that apart from all the, I don't think I, actually I don't think I really did any upkeep on that. It was pretty, it worked out pretty good. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, these government auction websites, every now and then they have property for sale. Buildings, sometimes it's land. A lot of times it's just big weird warehouses, but every now and then it's a lighthouse. I've seen them on there. And sometimes they're weird things that I don't even realize are lighthouses, like weird structures out in the water on like four spindly legs. Uh, they l look more like, like safety f retreats for the zombie apocalypse, which I think is really the best use for those things. Uh, but, and, and usually there's like these descriptions of the property and it's like, this thing is really, really old and beyond repair. Please be aware. You can only, and you can only buy it or bid on it if you come and look at it first and all that stuff. And it's usually really, really far away. Anyways, I don't remember what I was saying. Cause, uh. Oh yeah, the yeah. The, there's this lighthouse society that I think buys a lot of them and tries to. I think there's also this other website I found years ago where you can like volunteer. To they, there's some society that you know keeps a bunch of these and you can volunteer to be a lighthouse keeper, but a lot of this involves the in the more touristy ones. It also involves like running the gift shop and stuff like that. So it's not as uh, remote and. I don't know, it doesn't have the same level of asceticism as I envision for lighthouse keeping. I, the problem with being remote is that I think I do slowly go crazy. I need a little bit of human interaction. Sometimes I need a lot. Sometimes I need it forced upon me. Keeps me, keeps me from totally losing it, totally, you know, uh, just going off the deep end. Sometimes going off the deep end is useful, especially for art, I think. Sometimes it's not, because if you go too far off the deep end with your art, it's maybe not relatable to anyone. It's maybe, um, can be interesting and amusing, but I feel, I don't know, maybe we still need to be connected somehow in touch. I don't know, I haven't completely decided what I think about this. However, I will say, the, the type of beaches that lighthouses are usually on, at least in my limited experience, are the type of beaches I really, really prefer. Prefer, not prefer. Uh, the, what, the rocky beaches, the, the stony outcroppings into the ocean, the places where the weather is the worst, because then you get to watch the most interesting wave action. 
The wave action on normal, smooth, sandy beaches is nice. It can be satisfying, a little bit hypnotizing, but there's nothing like the unending fascination of, of waves crashing violently on rocks. The waves come in, they're not ready for it, and then they collide with the rocks and go every which direction, and the force and, and, and magnitude of it all is just incredible. I love it. That's all, okay? Maybe that's why. Maybe, maybe that's why I want to live at a lighthouse, because of the conjunction of those two things, how lighthouses are usually near rock, rocks and waves like that. Okay, I gotta go now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. I... I don't know about this drawing. Mm. Soon. Soon? Very soon I'll be drawing something different. I keep telling myself that. I finish this drawing, and then I... In my mind. Okay, in my mind. I punched a giant hole in the wall. No, I didn't. I was just a little bit discouraged because I still feel like I'm drawing the same thing again over and over. But maybe I need to take that, channel that frustration into another drawing that will look different. Come on, Peter. You can do it. I can do it. All right, bye.